Hey champions, this is uh, Sensei Wright from Martial Arts and More. We're going to go over some of the stick requirements today for the introductory class or for the patch requirements for the Kali slash Eskrima uh, patch that can go on your uniform. This uh, is just a absolute beginner basic stuff with the stick. We're going to do some single stick and we will do some double stick techniques. All right, this isn't to try to make you an expert at stick fighting or knife fighting, which we're going to introduce a little bit with that. It's just some of the moves that I've learned through the course of the years and some of the seminars that I've gone to that I'd like to share with the students. So I'm not a Kali expert by any means. Uh, this is just beginner stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is just going to grip almost like you have a baseball bat uh, grip on the stick, and then we're going to let go with the bottom hand. And I'm going to go through 12 strikes that we do with the stick, and then we also do it with the knife too. So to start off with, we're going to do a forehand strike, like we're going to the head, like somebody that you're the same height as you, and then we're going to come with a backhand strike. So that's number one and two. So we go forehand, backhand. And then we do the same thing, but we're going like towards the body. So we're going forehand, backhand again. And if you notice, I'm turning my hand a little bit. So if uh, the stick gets hit, then it's going to be against like the palm of my hand. So it's kind of strong that way. Like if I hit something here and it hit, I might lose the grip with the stick. So the first four moves, I'm coming forehand, backhand, then forehand, backhand. Then I'm going to do three thrusts. I'm going to go like to the belly button and then to the shoulder and then to the other shoulder here. So we call it the upside down triangle. So we go one, two, three, four, upside down triangle. That's five, six, and seven. And then we're gonna hit up. So the hit up could be like going to the inside of the leg or underneath the arm or to the side of the body. It could also be used as a block, but we're gonna cut up and then we're gonna cut up the other side. All right, so it's like going to the inside of the leg to the inside of the other leg. So we'll add that to it. So we're going forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, upside down triangle, boom, then we go thigh to thigh, we'll call it, boom, here, like the boom part, right? All the way through, we go one, two, three, four, upside down triangle is five, six, seven, then thigh to thigh is eight, nine, then we're gonna act like we're hook punching, kind of hooking to the eye, we'll call it, and then we cut underneath, and then we hook back to the other eye, we cut underneath, and then we do the last move, straight down the center is the slash, so I'm going one, two, three, four, upside down triangle, five, six, seven, thigh to thigh, and then hook to the eye, hook to the eye, and then straight down. Now again, this is just to have fun with the stick, learn another little introductory class to the another style of martial arts. By no means there's thousands or at least hundreds of different styles of stick fighting. This is just an introduction to earn your Kali patch. There's a couple other requirements, but that's the first one. All right, champions, next set of requirements are the blocks. There's a variety of blocks with motion that you can do when we were, like when we were striking, it's pretty similar. And then there's also reinforced blocks. So all I'm gonna do, and you can do these with motion, but we're gonna just stay still and do them to begin with. We're gonna do a block high and a block low. Pretty simple. So I put my hand like this, just in case somebody's coming down real hard, that my hand is here. If I have both hands there, then my hand could get hit with whatever they're hitting me with. So this one's gonna be here. This one, obviously I gotta hang on to the stick. I'm gonna to try to meet it here and then here. Then we can go to the left, boom, and we go to the right here, all right? And again, there's footwork. I can slide back with it. I can come forward with it. I can step here. I can step here. We're just doing super basic right now. It's just getting the motions down. We're gonna go high, low. We go to the left, to the right, boom, here. Now we're gonna do one more block and it's because it's gonna be in a sequence that we're gonna do later on. And it's just gonna be, I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna put the stick almost like on my arm, and I'm gonna block over my head this way. And then I would come and follow up with strikes after. All right, so this is gonna be the first move. Something's coming down, I'm gonna block it with the stick and move their hand out of the way, and I would strike back. Hey champions. Now we're going to do the single stick drill that you would do with a partner. I'm going to go over the techniques and then we'll add a partner later. So the concept is you're going to do a block, a strike, a block, a strike, a block, a strike, and then repeat. So we'll have the first person go, they're going to act like they're striking down to the head. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do that umbrella block here. I'm going to block the stick and I'm going to move their hand out of the way. And I'm going to bring the stick around my head and then hit to the body. 
So step one is I'm going to block and then strike. Then right after that, I'm going to block again. So again, I go block, strike, block, strike. As my opponent does the opposite, they go strike, block, strike, block. So I just tried to do my strike, they blocked it. Now they're going to come and try to hit me to the ribs and I'm going to block it here. So I'm just going to hit their stick down like I'm trying to hit their hand or I'm hitting their stick to knock it out of their hands. So that's going to be my block. Then I'm going to go strike to their head. Then they're going to do their block and after they do their block, they're going to try to hit me to the ribs. So I'm going to strike here and then I'm going to cross my body with the stick coming up this way. This is another block. I'm going to block here. So I'm going to go block, strike to their ribs, block, strike to their head, block across, and then strike to their ribs on the other side. And then they would come back and we'd start again. So I'd block, strike, block, strike, block, strike. And then we do that with a partner. One more time by ourselves, we're just blocking umbrella. And then we're doing that forehand strike, doing a little circle, boom, like I'm almost playing the drums there, I hit. And then I come back to their head, and then I'm gonna come and block to the body, and then I strike back. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then my partner would be doing the opposite thing at the same time. All right, guys, the next one we're gonna do is a single stick drill with a partner. So remember I said you're gonna do the opposite of what your partner does. So every time I strike, she's gonna block. Every time she blocks, I'm striking. The first one we're gonna do is she strikes to the head. What I'm gonna do is that umbrella block that we talked about, she strikes, I'm gonna block here, and this will come later on. Basic right now, we just wanna get the block, but I'll also push the hand away too. If you got that, that's great. If not, that's fine. So she does the strike. I block here. Now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna go to her ribs and hit. She's gonna come across with the stick pointed up to the sky and she's gonna block my strike this way. So those are the first couple moves. She does the strike, I block. I do the strike, she blocks. Now her hand is there. She's gonna come and back fist me to the ribs this way. My stick just got hit, so I'm gonna do a little circle here. I'm gonna make a circle to the outside and when she comes to hit my ribs, I'm gonna knock down her stick. Now, I would be trying to like hit her hand to make her lose a stick, but obviously she wouldn't want to be my partner for very long if I did that every time. So we're going to hit the stick this time. All right, that's the motion. So we're going to go high, and then I go to her ribs. She blocks across, then she goes to my ribs, and I block down. All right, so she goes high, I block, I strike, she blocks, she strikes, I block. Then I come back, and I hit her in the head, and she blocks, and then she's going to try to hit me in the ribs, and I block across. Then I do my back fist to her ribs and she strikes down. Then she strikes me in the head. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So get your younger sibling, younger sister, younger brother, and you work hitting them with the stick and see if they can block it. No, don't do that. <laughs> Parents are okay. Parents hit the parent. No, don't hit the parent. Okay, just practice by yourself to begin with. When you get good, then get a partner and you can do it together. Wait, little tip for little kids practicing this. Hold on. Or if you have a stick and you don't have a lot of control or accuracy, won't leave a mark. She did say if you don't have a lot of control or accuracy or if you don't have any control or accuracy. All right, yeah. now what did she say? It's not gonna leave a mark? Yeah, I mean, it'll hurt. It'll still hurt. It won't even <laughs> <laughs> All right, so get to practicing. All right, champion, here's just a fun drill to get to kind of warm up with the sticks and warm up your wrists a little bit. We're just going to go from that open stance here. I got my grips, and all I'm going to do is circle, and I'm going to circle forward here. I'm just letting it spin between my uh, finger and my thumb, and I'm going this big circle on both sides. That one's pretty easy. Then you can stop, and then you can try it the other way. So you're going both sing at the same time. Not a problem for most people. Go forward, and then back. All right, team, so you got the forward motion. You got the backwards motion. So now we're gonna go backwards with one side and forward with the other side. It's kind of like, uh, patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. Give that a try. Do it on both sides. Have fun with that.
All right, champions. So we're going to do a basic double stick technique. And this is something that you would do with a partner. And I'll demonstrate that later. We're going to do just the basic moves to begin with. So these are all going to be striking drills, just getting the motion down of how to use the stick. So we're going to call this an open stance where I have the sticks resting on my shoulder. So we've already did some of the striking. We already did some blocking. Now we're going to put it together that we can do a partner drill. So the first uh, move is going high, high. So we're going to strike with that forehand and backhand, and we're going to do both sides. And then we do the same thing forehand, backhand with the other side. So we're going high, high, hit, hit, boom, boom. Now my partner would be doing the same thing, and we would connect sticks, both sides, pow, pow. And then we're going to come across going high, and then we're going to go backhand low. And then we do the same thing, other side, high, low. And we come back. So we go high, 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 then high, low, high, low. Then we're going to go low, low. So I'm going to go forehand, backhand, low, then forehand, backhand, low again. So all the way through, it'd be high, 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 low, high, low, then low, 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 like I'm striking to the knees. Then we'll come back. The next one after that is we're going to go low, high, opposite what we did before, low, high, and then that brings us back to the top. So that would be the full circle of the partner drill. So I'm going high, 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 low, high, low, 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 then low, high, low, high, and back. And then we would just repeat it and we would just practice this for usually we'll do it like three or four times until we're done and then we'd move on. Hey champions, we have uh, Martial Art Mary here with us today and we're gonna practice some of the uh, double stick or team stick or partner stick drills that we were working on before and practice them solo. So what the first one I'm gonna do is from the open stance here and we're gonna go high, 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 here. So it's just the first two moves of the first strikes that you did before. So we're going high, 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 high. Then we're going to go high again and then circle down low like we're striking to the knee come back and then we go high low and back so let's work high 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 low high low all right then the next one we're going to add to it is the low low so we're going to go like to the knee again hit and then hit again so we're doing the forehand and then the backhand and when you're with a partner if you don't connect the sticks you miss the stick you just go through so you don't miss the whole sequence of the whole move so we'll start from the top, we'll go high, 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 low, high, low, 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 and then back. The next one's gonna be low, high, and then that'll complete the sequence. So we'll go low here, and then high, and then low, high. And then you would start with a high, high again. So all the way through, it looks like this, we'll go slow, high, 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 then high, low, high, low, then low, low, low low and low high low high and then again high 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 low high low 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 high low high all right so that's the sequence from the open stance All right, the next sequence here is still going to be with the double sticks. And we're going to do what we call a close stance here. So one of the sticks is underneath my arm in my armpit and the other one I'm hanging on to on the same side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike that forehand again here and then I'm going to act like I'm hugging myself. Then I'm going to do it the bottom hand. I'm going to do a backhand and then hold my stick up nice and high. All right, I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit just so I get the move down. And then I'm going to do like I'm doing a back fist. I'm going to do a back fist here and then bring it back to the other side. So now I'm in the opposite, opposite position. So I hug, come across. I hit that back and I open up. I do a back fist and I come underneath. So I hug, open up, back fist underneath. Hug, open up, kind of like the Statue of Liberty, back fist underneath. So I'm going one, two, three. Now I'll switch the other side. One, two, three, switching the other side. You can switch your footwork with this too. So I can hit, hit, hit. Now I'm in the opposite stance. Pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. Here. We also do the same thing. Instead of going high with the strike, we go low. So we go low, and then we hit again low, back fist low, and then back. So I'm going low, low, back fist, underneath. So I do that hug again. I'm just striking low. I do that low strike again. My hand comes up like the Statue of Liberty. I do the back fist. I go underneath. So now I'm in the opposite stance. 
I do the low again, low, hit, and back. So I go one, two, three here, one, two, three, pow. And again, I could do my footwork with it. Pow, 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 boom, pow, 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 pow. All right, the last one that we're gonna do in that sequence with the two sticks is we're gonna do a modified one on top. And in some uh, styles, I call this a heaven, the other one was earth. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna hit. Now, instead of hugging myself, as I hit, I'm gonna bring the stick around behind me so I can hit again. So what it looks like is I hit again, and then instead of hug myself, I still do that strike and do the Statue of Liberty, it comes around my head, and instead of doing the back fist, I hit again and underneath. So instead of doing the back fist, I come here, boom, underneath. So I'm making a circle with the one stick, the back fist with the other one, all the way around. So circle, boom, boom, here. So I strike sticks, one, two, three, I'm on the opposite side, one, two, three, underneath. All right, team, the next sequence we're going to do is from the closed stance. So you're going to have the stick resting on your shoulder, and the other one's going to be underneath that same arm. All right, so it's in your armpit. And when, again, when you grip, act like you're grabbing a baseball bat, and that hand, bottom hand, you just let go so you have that much space. And again, we use that for striking, also for hooking and disarming as well. So we're going from the closed stance this time. So from here, we're going to strike across, and we're going to hug ourselves. Then the bottom hand comes through and it opens up after we hit and it points up to the, the sky, kind of like we're standing like the Statue of Liberty. Now the top hand does a back fist, and when we hit, then we just go underneath that hand here. So now we're on the opposite side. So we come across, you hug, Statue of Liberty, back fist, underneath. Hug, Statue of Liberty, back fist, underneath. So you go one, two, three, underneath, one, two, three, underneath. Okay, that's the basic one. Now we do the same sequence, but we go low with it. So we're like striking towards the knees. So we're gonna go low and we hug ourselves here. And then we open up again, hitting low like the Statue of Liberty. Then we do the back fist and then we go underneath that opposite arm. We go low, low, open up here, back fist, underneath. So we go low, low, back fist low, underneath. Low, low, back fist low, underneath. All right, so that's the next sequence. Now, the modified one is we'll go back to the original stance. We're going to go high again. So when we do the hug, instead of stopping and hugging ourselves, we're going to let the stick follow through behind our backs. As it's behind our back, we're going to take the other stick we hit, and we open up Statue of Liberty again, and then we come, instead of doing back fist, we just hit with that circle, and it goes out to the opposite side. So pretty much all you're doing is like helicopter thing. Pow, pow, and you hit. You strike, and you hit here. Boom. Just like Mary's got it. Helps if you do the facial expressions. So you're gonna strike, boom, bottom hand strikes, it goes around the head, strikes underneath. So you strike, bottom hand strikes, strike again, underneath. Strike, 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 underneath. The top hand does a circle, and you just follow those all the way around, boom. All right? Now the next one we do the same thing, but you got circle underneath your feet. Hey team, we're going to do one more move for you, and it's just going to be a disarm. In order to earn the patch, you have to do uh, one disarm, and there's a bunch of them, and you have to do a couple of the partner sequences, and you have to do the strikes and the blocks that we went over early, earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, the umbrella strike off of the, one of the sequences to do, so she's going to hit to the head. I'm going to block, but now as I block the stick, my other hand is going to come over her arm, and then underneath I'm going to grab the stick here. Now from here, I just block so I could strike, okay? I don't have to strike, but I could, and I could just turn my body and hopefully I make her let go with just put that we're putting her hand in that weird position. So she does a strike, I block, I step towards, I hook the stick and turn, hit away, and I could strike if I needed to. So that's one of the disarms. Again, there's a lot of them. She strikes, boom, I hook, rip it away. That's it. So now you have all your requirements that you need to get the collie patch and uh and keep progressing get the patch put on your uniform stick to it ah no pun intended hey champions working uh stick to it month again we're working with the collie sticks i did go over that some of the moves that we do with the sticks are the same moves that we do with the knife so this is fake knife all right again when we do knife defense we do knife striking we do knife fighting Right now, we're doing it very introductory level, 
and it's for fun. I'm not trying to teach anybody how to attack people with a knife, and I'm not teaching how to defend yourself with a knife. All right, we will go through the moves and stuff like that, but it takes a long time. Knife fighting, very difficult, all right? When we do our knife fighting, we do it as if we're fencing because we have cool knives. We have stun knives. So if you get hit with a knife, it gives you a little shock to it, all right? It's not gonna make you a knife expert. It's not gonna, you know, give you magical skills or anything like that. It's a very dangerous weapon. And the stuff that we do is some of it is, is practical and some of it is, you know, best case scenario. And then we do stuff that's fancy. We do stuff that's totally unrealistic. Why? Because it looks cool and it's fun to do. That's it. And uh, we have people that like to do demonstrations. We have people that uh, I've been a, a fight scene choreographer in some different movies and different uh, uh, commercials and stuff like that. And people don't like to see the super basic stuff that much anymore. So we do fancy stuff with it. Totally unrealistic. So I have the full spectrum. But understand, I'm not teaching anybody how to be a defend themselves against anybody uh, with a blade. I'll give up concepts, I'll give ideas, and I will definitely teach that this is a dangerous weapon. And I mean, it takes a lot of practice to get even minimally skilled with it. So the 12 strikes that we do is just hanging on to the stick and, um, or hanging on the stick, we just did stick, uh, to the blade. And if you were gonna hit something with it, like if I was gonna practice on the, du the dummy, to have a decent up grip that if I hit, it doesn't fall out of my hands. So our 12 point striking series, which I don't believe you need all 12 points, but it's a fun series to do. And it leads into other techniques we do both with a stick, both empty hand, and it's just fun stuff to, to work on. This is not our primary style of martial arts. This is something that's an add on. So uh, take it for what it is and have fun with it. So the, the 12 point striking series is pretty simple. Same thing with the stick. I'm gonna do a forehand here and then a backhand. So I'm gonna go one, two, and I'm going up high towards the head. Then I'm going to go same kind of motion, but towards the body. And that could be hitting the body itself, or a thrust can be coming in and I'm stepping aside from the thrust and then trying to, to cut the arm from there. So there are different concepts with it, but we go one, two, three, four. Then we're going to do three thrusts. We're going to do like one towards the belly button, one towards the shoulder, and then one towards the other shoulder. So we go all the way through. We go one, two, three, four upside down triangle, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna do what we do called thigh to thigh. So it could be going to the inside of the thigh and cutting. It could be underneath the arms, but the idea is we're cutting upwards with it. All right, and if you notice this is a single blade, um, if you have a double blade, you could do different things with it. But um, I want the pressure on the back of my hand when I'm hitting something and not on my finger so I don't lose the grip. So when I cut here, boom, I cut, and then I'll turn up again, cutting up here. So the pressure is always against my hand and not my fingers even when I do the forehand backhand so the thigh to thigh is cutting up and then we're gonna like hook to the eye and then cut underneath hook to the eye cut underneath last one is just slash going straight down so all the way through we go forehand backhand forehand backhand upside down triangle that's five six seven thigh to thigh thigh to thigh hook to the eye hook to the eye and then 12 is slash so again, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12, all the way through. So that's the basic striking we do with the blade. Have a good one.